real quick, okay? And then you guys can get to your work. So, when we're doing problems with this, remember, whenever you have parentheses, that number outside the parentheses has to be multiplied tailored to every number inside the parentheses. So therefore, I have 9x plus 63 greater than or equal to 198. Now, we just need to use our two-step... We just need to do our two-step problems, right? So you look at your variable and say, all right, what's happening to my variable that I need to undo? I'm adding a 63, so we always undo addition and subtraction first. So I subtract 63 on both sides. I obtain 9x is greater than or equal to 135. Now I need to undo multiplication by 9, so I divide by 9 on both sides. I get x is greater than or equal to 15. Then I think you guys have provided uh, tables. Well, let's say I, I want to make my own number line. I can go, you can go, you can make your number line by anything, all right? So I'm going to make my number line going by fives. So then I find my point, I make a nice big circle, all right? Since it's greater than or equal to, I know my point is going to be true at 15, right? Because if I put 15 is greater than or equal to 15, it's always, always going to be true, right? So whenever you have that equal to, you're always going to be filled in. Then it says x is greater than. So that means which numbers are greater than. So just pick a point to the right and to the left. Which numbers are greater, the points to the right or the points to the left? Right, right. And you could say, obviously, 20 is greater than x, right? So... Uh -huh. All the points to the right are going to make that statement true. Yes, Amanda. No problem with this. Nothing. Okay. Yes. <laughs> the only time you switch it is remember when you multiply or divide by a negative number. Since I divided by positive 9, I didn't have to switch it.